Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. My name is Ariel and I'm the owner of Arabia Sticker Shop. Today I have a new planner cover to unbox with you guys and share sort of like my first impressions. I already opened this planner um, late last night because it arrived uh, yesterday afternoon and I was a little impatient to film this video. Hopefully I'm going to be able to show you the true color of this gorgeous Moturn planner because I've been very curious about these new Vegetan Moturn planners. I'm assuming by the title of the video you guys would already know what I'm going to be unboxing. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Moturn Vegetan uh, cover and this is the A5 plus size. Um, I've been wanting one of these for a very long time. I actually ordered a Moturn cover I think last year in A5 size but it didn't end up reaching me. Um, I ordered it from Amazon and I definitely got I got a completely different like size and color than the one that I wanted so I finally have my A5 Moturn cover which I'm so excited about. I've been hearing a lot about these um, Vegetan covers recently and apparently they're supposed to be a dupe for like a Gilio planner so I do have my Gilio here. This is an A6 size and it is in uh, the navy blue color as you can see. I've been using this a lot recently so maybe I can do a bit of a comparison between this one and this one. Um, I'm excited to see the color. Um, as you can see, my Gilio is a dark one, but um, the Moturn that I chose was the apricot color. Alright, so it, it did come in this nice dust bag. I've ordered a few different planners for Moturn before and they always come uh, with a dust bag, which is nice. It also came with this uh, little like credit card thank you card as well, so uh, that's also nice. But look at this gorgeous cover. Uh, so like I said earlier, this is the apricot cover, so this is the lightest shade that they offer and look at how gorgeous and smooth this is. I was crossing my fingers that I would get one of the smooth um, textures. Um, I wasn't really into the super pebbly ones, but this one is just so gorgeous and extremely soft. I would say that the feeling of both of these are very similar. Let me just show you. You're, you're able to see a little bit of the texture. You can see that this one is extremely smooth. Can you see it? If I shine it in the light here, you can see the difference in texture. But they do both feel very, very soft. I was worried that I wouldn't like a super textured um, feel to this leather, but I mean, the one that I got is so smooth and gorgeous. Um, so, from what I've heard on social media, this color was supposed to be a dupe for, or similar at least, to a Julio Undyed. Um, from what I'm seeing, this is definitely a lot darker. Uh, it's still a beautiful color. This is kind of what I expected uh, the honey to look like, but a little bit lighter than honey. So, um, I'm happy with what I got, regardless, because it's such a gorgeous warm color. I like the... Um, like variation in the colors as well as you can see there's some slightly darker spots and then I also got a smooth strap which is really cool. Sometimes people have like a um, sometimes people have contrasting textures in the strap and the actual um, cover so let me show you the inside. Uh, this is showing up pretty true to color maybe just a little bit darker let me adjust my light. So this is showing up pretty much true to color, maybe just a tad bit darker because it is a slightly cloudy day in winter that I'm filming this video. But this is really nice. I love how smooth everything is. So this is kind of what the like textured part that I was talking about earlier. Uh, I'm not sure if I would have liked this on the front cover of my planner. This one is also a little textured over here, but everything else is pretty much smooth. There are a few like indents here, but once I put my planner in there, I think that'll be okay. This is really nice and well done. The stitching is really good. I'm kind of worried that over here it will peel up a little bit, but the overall quality is really nice. I'm going to quickly go through the pocket configuration because I think this is one of the first Moturm covers that I'm talking about on my channel, at least the first A5, uh, in this kind of style. I have Moturn rings and stuff like that, but so there is a really nice big pocket on the side here. I quite like that. I can put a lot of different things in here. There's also another one here and then 
uh, a slip pocket for your notebook, and then there are so many pockets here. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six different pockets, and I believe, let me just check, they are height adjusted, so I think these two are just card slots. Yeah, so all of these are card slots, but these two go all the way down. On this side, there is another uh, slot to put your notebook. There's an extra um, slot here as well, and then uh, this sort of small pocket. And also on this side, there is a elasticized pen loop here with the matching elastic, that's what it looks like, and then the snap closure as well. I'm very impressed with the feel of this planner, by the way. I think it's a very affordable dupe. It's not exactly the same as the Giglio. Um, Oh, I forgot to mention that there is a very large back pocket in here as well, so you are able to put in like full letter size um, pieces of paper in here. I'm probably going to keep my bills and stuff in here because I think that's a very handy pocket. Usually, uh, I have this bad habit with planner covers and in my Hobonichis that I just uh, tuck things into the front cover. So if I have my notebook there, I would just put like, you know, something on top and then close my cover like that and just leave it like that. Um, it's not exactly secure, but um, I mean it works for me. So now that I have a back pocket, maybe I'll be able to use that instead of having things like fall out whenever I want to move my planner. This is a really gorgeous cover. I'm very impressed with it, in case you didn't already tell. Um, I also like how there are two bookmarks as well. So I've been setting up my new 2023 Hobonichi, actually in a different Hobonichi cover that I was planning on using, uh, but because I heard that these were going to be restocked, I decided to order one um, as soon as it uh, was available because sometimes these go out of stock pretty quickly, especially in the lighter colors, including uh, this one, which is apricot. I know honey and caramel also go pretty quickly, but the colors that are like, um, like espresso and midnight tend to stay a little bit longer what I've, for, or from what I've seen. I know a lot of people have been comparing these uh, Moterms to the Chilio planners, which I think is a pretty good uh, like dupe. Um, sometimes the quality is a little bit different. I think it depends on like what uh, type of leather that you receive. Maybe if the bumpy one, maybe the bumpy one isn't as um, similar in feel to the Giglio's. I still feel like a difference to them, of course. Uh, this one is a little bit more smooth than this one. This one still has like a little bit of texture to it, but this one just like glides. My hand like glides over it, or maybe it's just because of the oils in my hand um, have been going into this one for a bit longer. I am interested to see if the color will change if I use this one quite often because it is uh, a relatively light color. I'm hoping that I won't have, you know, like dirty fingers or like super oily fingers that will like mess up this beautiful, gorgeous texture. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. I thought I was just going to be using this uh, gorgeous Hobonichi cover because I think it's just so cute. Um, but I think now I'm going to be using both of these covers because I ordered this in c kind of impulsively because uh, I found out that there was a restock and I wanted to get one before that they before they sold out, or else I wouldn't be able to get one. Uh, but now I'm thinking of using another A5 notebook for uh, like notes and stuff like that, and kind of goal planning. I think I'll save all that chatter though for a different video. My planner setup video, but I think I'll post this video first. So let me just see what this looks like. So this is the first half of my January to June. This is the Avec Hobonichi Cousin. I think that fits really nicely in there, if you can see. I know it's a little bit blurry. But I think as it grows as well, it will have quite a bit of room. All right, so I just tucked that side in as well, and it does look pretty good. I'm liking it so far. Everything is looking really cute in this cover as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was so sure that I was going to use the, um, the Petite Roses for 2023, but now I have this one and I want to use it as well. Isn't this so pretty? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm excited again. So I think that this planner cover will fit really well with all of my other planners for 
2023, of course, I will also be having, uh, I will also be using this one, which is um, holding my Hobonichi uh, Day Free in the A6 size. I've been using that a lot for notes as well. Uh, and now, because I want to use this cover, I might also include another A5 planner. I did set up my pockets already here, um, so I might have to move into that. But isn't this cover so gorgeous? I'm really happy that I was able to grab one, especially because I know I know that this color is very um, popular. I've seen a lot of people use it. So I just wanted to share with you my happy little haul and share with you like the true color of what I received. Oh man, this cover is so gorgeous and the feel of it's really nice as well. Uh, I'm kind of considering getting a honey and a chestnut as well. <laughs> Uh, maybe not in this color, uh, in, in this size, maybe in A6, maybe a week's, I don't know. Uh, it depends on like what's still in stock and what's restocked when. But I'm so happy that I was able to get this. It is such a beautiful planner and I can't wait to use it. So overall, first impressions are great. I do think, I do understand why now people um, have been comparing it to Gilio because the pocket configuration is the same. It's a very similar like style planner now. And then also uh, the leathers have definitely been upgraded. I do have a planner uh, for Moterm that is like the regular like lychee. I have a black one. And then I also have a um, black croc as well, but that's in rings. So I definitely do think that this Veg10 leather is probably one of their best leathers. Um, I do also really like my croc I think it's very durable and very pretty as well. I'm excited to see how well this will hold up and uh, if the color will uh, change over time. I'm slightly worried about that, but but because this is a pretty affordable planner, um, I think I'll be okay. So I want to thank you guys so much again for watching my video and on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. I have a ton of planner content on my channel as well, so go ahead and check those out. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.